Okay, a quick video to demonstrate a, quick, a concept for athletes. How to have stability, how to have power, and that is you need to use your whole body as though with every motion, with every position, it's like you're supporting or moving a mountain. So what that means is you need your whole body weight behind your movements or behind your positions because your limbs, your extremities, and your muscles alone when they act in isolation are very, very weak. I don't care how big you, you get your muscles, they are weak without application of body weight. So to demonstrate that quickly, if, if she's trying to push me over and I'm in a position where I can use my body weight to stabilize myself, so just put, push on me. I'm in a position where my whole body weight is distributed over my point of support. So I'm stable here. I can resist her push much, with much more stability, okay? Now, if she does that same thing, she pushes against my hand, okay? It's a different point of contact, but I can still relatively easy to resist her, okay? Because I'm in a proper position where I can use my whole body weight. I'm just not just using my arm to hold her up. If for example she pushes on my fingers and applies her body weight and pushes on my fingers, then I have no strength there to push. And I have no strength there because it's not a strong position. I can't apply my body weight as effectively into my fingers. Okay? Initially it's gonna feel like a lot of extra attention but that's good because you need to pay attention to how you're moving in order to make it more automatic eventually to become automatic where when you move you'll be moving like this all the time without thinking you'll be relaxed and you'll be able to do it without thought but initially you have to kind of imagine that you're moving a mountain every single time the way to learn how to juggle this would be to imagine that you're juggling uh, a bowling ball right? so if you imagine that the bowling ball is soft enough that it's not going to damage your foot. But you imagine that the, the soccer ball is the weight of a bowling ball. So now, when I get the ball up, I have to be underneath the ball with my body every time. So initially, I exaggerate it. Right? Because I want to make sure that I'm in that position. If you don't have that level of attention, then you're gonna do what most people do and just trying to kick the ball. You can't try to kick the ball. You have to be in position to absorb the ball. So, if I'm always in position to absorb the ball, then that's how I learn. And then it becomes, it'll become more natural so you could do it more relaxed, but that's, that's the idea. If I'm gonna kick the ball with my power, I can use my body weight. The powerful kick doesn't just come from swinging your leg. If it's all a leg effort, it's gonna be weak. But if you get your whole body weight behind it, look how effortless that was. And the ball went sailing. So you have to get used to using your whole body as a unity. So hopefully those demonstrations give you an idea of what that actually means so you can put it into practice.